paint. It's a pretty amazing thing that's recently come up in the past 50 years. Uh, like it's a very good te technological advance in human history and it's very helpful, but it's also a very sensitive topic and it's highly debated across the world. And it'll have people, it'll have you asking yourself the question, what is life and what is death? Um, and that's what I'm going to be talking about. Bioengineering is the use of artificial tissue, organs, or components to replace damage or absent parts of the body. How many of y'all have your driver's license or permit? Most everybody in here. How many of you have that little heart beside or somewhere on your driver's license? That means you're an organ donor. So bioengineering is going is tied in with that. So like if you die and there's someone else who's really in hurt and they need one of your organs, or not yours, but if your organ matches theirs what they need, then they'll take your organ and put it in them to save their life after you've passed away already. Um, now, how many of you have seen or read the book, The Hunger Games? Yeah, I figure it's pretty good. I like it too. Uh, in 2013, a woman by the name of Kristen Cook wrote an article and it discussed bioengineering, bio yeah, bioengineering that's in The Hunger Games. Uh, how many of y'all remember what Jabber Jays are? Jabber Jays, the birds? Well, uh, they were engineered in the book. They were engineered to spy on people originally. They're just birds that the capital made that can record voices and replay them. And that's what bioengineering is. It's just technology used to combine two different things for an advancement. And uh, another example, in 2010, a man was diagnosed with a heart disease and he was about to die. He needed another heart. And so these doctors were going to, like the organ donor thing, they were going to do that. But uh, what I'm going to talk about next, bioethics, that kind of twists and changes everything about what you think about bioengineering. Bioethics discusses and debates the ethics of medical and biological research. It's been around, bioengineering has been around for many years, but people have only recently started to discuss its ethics. Um, back to the man in 2010 who was about to die, he, uh, they were going to get, they had the heart ready and everything, they were going to give it to him and uh, so he could live. But he said that he didn't want it because he said it would be disrespectful to the soul of the dead. Because in his culture, he was a Hispanic man. I can't remember his name, but in his culture, they believed that the soul of the dead was a very precious thing. So he didn't, didn't want to disrespect that. But the doctors, they argued with him and all this stuff. But they ended up sedating him and giving him the heart anyway. And this infuriated his family and it was talked about. Uh, this happened in New Mexico. It was talked about and on the media for many, many weeks. Um, now the debate itself. Bioethical debate topics may include discussions about abortion, genetics, assisted suicide, cloning, and human research. Uh, the most heated debates usually revolve around the question, what is human, what is life, and what is death. Uh, a classical liberal response to the crisis of bioethics. Um, in, two, in 2008, a 12-year-old boy named Motel Brody was on his deathbed. Uh, in Washington State, and he, well, he was on his deathbed, and his brain died actually on November fourth. So the doctors that were caring for him and everything, they were ready to pull the plug because he was on a a uh, ventilator system. 
So they were ready to pull the plug because his brain had died and they knew he was going to pass away soon and everything was going to be over. But his lungs and his heart were still pumping. So his family, they believed him to still be alive. So they didn't want the doctors to pull the plug. And <laughs> just like the man back in, in 2010, the same thing happened. The doctors argued and they pulled the plug anyway because they didn't want to waste money wasting time, spending money, keeping this boy alive, knowing that he's going to die anyway. Uh, this, the boy was Jewish, and this caused a huge debate between the Jewish because he, yeah, yeah, it caused a huge debate between the Jewish community with, his, uh, with the doctors that were caring for him and his family and all this. And it was on the media for about two good months. And it was just, I actually remember hearing about it because my grandfather talked about it. And it was, it was pretty bad the way they talked about it. But uh, bioengineering, it's a very helpful thing. And we're lucky to have it because without it, some of the people that are here now might not have been here without bioengineering and its help. But it's also controversial because of individuals' beliefs and how they want to live their lives or how they want to pass away. And that's all.